Hey there, also with the FlexPoint team. In this video, we're gonna talk about the FlexPoint vendor portal. So you as the FlexPoint user, you provide the vendor portal to your brands, distributors, suppliers, anybody you're sourcing products from, the vendor portal is there for them to connect into your system. Now the vendor portal is usually for the means of people that want to connect in a more of a manual fashion. They don't have the way of giving you a feed or taking in orders over an API. The vendor portal is a great way for you to give access for them to give you all of the data. The data specifically being product data, you know, inventory updates, pricing updates, anything that goes into a product uh, listing or description. One other thing that they do that's a big part of the vendor portal is being able to fulfill on orders that need to be fulfilled through that specific vendor. So they can log in, they can see the orders that they need to fulfill on, um, everything in the order is specific to them. Once they do fulfill that and acknowledge the order, they're able to provide back shipment tracking within the vendor portal. And then one of the last things that they can do in the vendor portal as well is provide invoice data. So this is a big thing where you can ingest that invoice data into your FlexPoint account from this vendor to show profitability on all the orders that you're sending over to said vendor. Now let's go ahead and jump into a demo real quick of the vendor portal. I'm currently logged in as a vendor in the vendor portal. This vendor portal is hooked into a FlexPoint demo account. So in the FlexPoint account, under this specific source, we've given the FlexPoint vendor portal access for this vendor. So I'm currently logged in with their specific credentials. It navigates directly into the product tab here, which I can now see the products that I have uploaded and given access to for this FlexPoint user. So the vendor can log in and take a look at the products and the details that they have uploaded. If you need to add any new products or if you need to upload uh, new inventory levels or pricing levels, you do that here in the uh, top right inventory upload button, you need to download the template and fit the file to fit our template. And then once you have done that, you can upload that file here. To manage the orders, go to the purchase orders tab here on the left hand side. You can see the orders that have given access for this vendor to fulfill on. The vendor, whenever they are logged in, they will only see the orders that they need to fulfill on. And on that order, if there are multiple line items that need to be fulfilled from other sources, those specific line items will not populate on the purchase order. These will be specific to this vendor and their products. Now, whenever I come in here as a vendor, I can come and select all the specific purchase orders that I want to export out. Whenever I click export, what's really cool is I can drag and drop certain fields. So these are the columns on the file export that I'm about to download. I can also add in more fields. I can do a custom name as well for the specific columns. And then I can actually create and save templates of these different exports for the purchase orders. If I would like to upload shipment tracking in bulk for all my purchase orders, I could do that here in the shipment upload in the top right hand corner, very similar to the inventory upload. And if I want to add any invoices, shipments, any details, I can do that here in the purchase orders section. Um, what's really cool is we do have a button for vendors to acknowledge the orders. So the FlexPoint user knows that this order is being fulfilled on. They can cancel the order. They can actually log in and download a packing slip or a shipping label as well. If you give giving that access to your vendor. And then again, you can add shipments and invoices at an order level as well here on the purchase order side. Now in the invoice section here on the left-hand side, this is uploading invoices in bulk. Again, you could do it there at the purchase order level, or you can do it here in bulk. You just do that in the invoice upload, very similar to the inventory upload and shipment uploads. And then we do hyperlink out the purchase orders from these invoices. Uh, the invoices is a great way for the FlexPoint user to show profitability on the orders that are being fulfilled through this vendor. One of the last settings here in the vendor portal is being notified for orders that are getting placed into this vendor portal. You can put a custom email address here as the vendor, and you can turn on notify me whenever a purchase order is available. Now that was a quick overview of the FlexPoint vendor portal. If you have any more questions, you want to dive into more of the functionality of the FlexPoint vendor portal, anything else about FlexPoint in general, go head over to flexpoint.com, reach out to our experts there, or contact our support team at support at flexpoint.com. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to reach out. We're happy to help.